Hey everyone, welcome back to EMTV. My name is Alex Light, and today I thought I'd put together a short video about how to actually read an EKG. Not necessarily to identify STEMIs, but how you should go about methodically viewing an EKG to read it more effectively and more efficiently. Now the first thing you're going to want to remember when you're looking at a 12 lead ECG is the fact that you're not going to be reading this in a traditional left to right, top to bottom pattern. A 12 lead ECG demonstrates the heart's electrical conduction pattern as viewed from externally placed leads. So in order to interpret an EKG more effectively, you have to remember that you're looking at lead groupings or contiguous leads. They represent approximately the same area of tissue or conduction area on the heart. One method to analyze these contiguous lead groupings already exists that you may have heard of called I see all leads. I, however, prefer to take a different approach. What I teach my students is to first examine the anterior and septal lead groupings, leads V1, V2, V3, and V4. I treat V1, V2, V3, and V4 almost like a, an internet listicle or a clickbait article because V1 through V4 can be looked at as a correlation to the left anterior descending branch of the left coronary artery. Lay people sometimes refer to this as the widowmaker. The next leads I look at are the inferior leads, or leads 2, 3, and AVF. These clump nicely together here on the bottom left of the EKG. A way I tell my students how to remember that this is a lead grouping is to look at the word inferior. The word inferior contains multiple I's and an F. Not a single I, but multiples. This lead grouping correlates with vessels that are more on the right side of the heart. The last lead grouping I look at are the laterals. At this point, they should make up the leftover leads. Your high lateral leads, 1 and ABL, and your lateral wall leads, V5 and V6. The lateral wall leads tend to correspond with vessels on the left side of the heart, and the high lateral leads tend to correspond with vessels on the right side. However, in some significant infarcts, the lateral wall and high lateral leads can both be involved. So just to recap, V1 through V4, my anterior leads with V1 and V2 being further subdivided into the septal grouping, I look at these first because they're the top four reasons you're going to die. I then head over to the 2, 3, and ABF inferior lead groupings because the word inferior has multiple I's and an F. And then I'm left over with my lateral leads 1, ABL, V5, and V6. And for the purposes of STEMI recognition, generally we don't pay too much attention to AVR. I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you again for watching. For more EMS videos and my playlist on static cardiology, head over to my YouTube channel. And while you're there, make sure you like and subscribe. Until I see you next time, stay safe, keep washing your hands, have a good rest of your night.